And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. And this will wind up a Lions first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, with that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Looking to throw again on second down. Goff, he'll find Swift out of the backfield. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. It was Jaron Reed who got him down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Gaw. Complete to right. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. From the 28, it's second and five. Back to the running game with Swift. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And it's caught, and in for the Lions, touchdown. T.J. Hawkinson, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Lions take it right down and score on the opening drive. CD, that call, it took some guts. It's not like they were at the one-yard line. They had some distance to go. They certainly did, and, you know, a lot of people might say that's fly-by-the-seat-of-your-pants type of coaching, but it's also sending a message out there. We're going to be unpredictable. You can't prepare for anything with us. You never know which way we're going to go. We zig, you zag. And now some serious opening drive momentum. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Now then after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Now here's Mahomes. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. On third and long, it's Mahomes. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter.
As they've got it with a first and ten. Mahomes going to throw. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. Kansas City touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 57 yards. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. His throw incomplete. And that is one, no doubt, that may come back to haunt them because the PAT tied it. They didn't need to go for two. I keep searching for an explanation. I know it's quick right here. I think I can search for the next year <laughs> and not come up with anything that absolutely works. Kick the point, man. Kick the point. I don't get it. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And you watch Reynolds way downfield. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play there for Detroit. Swift. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift taking it in from four yards out. And the Lions add on to their lead. Extra point by Patterson up and good. And the lead is up to eight. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? Rush coming, and he's taken down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork.
Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Mahomes now on first down. He'll take his shot for the end zone. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 43 yards. And the Chiefs are a two-point conversion away from tying this thing up. Mahomes will throw for it. Escaping the pressure right. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And the Lions have recovered. It's funny to me because we actually keep the football in the booth with us during games. And I notice you cradling the football. You got it tucked As pretty we tight speak. with the points of pressure here. And that didn't occur on that play, did it? No, you saying I wouldn't have fumbled if I was you down there? You would not have fumbled. You got that thing locked in tight. I also have really large biceps. offense ready to kick off their next drive and right now they're saying hey let's keep this going two drives two touchdowns yeah can't ask for a better start than that can you I mean this is the way you practice it this is the way you rehearse it but right now the play calling they're locked in really well coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by he'll have highlights and analysis of this first half right back to Swift again on second down and he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line so many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation it's almost a tendency breaker on first down, Swift. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 36. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Goff's throw taken in by Hawkinson here. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. He finds his man complete. It's Benson. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Goff throwing again. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So pass interference, the call is so tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting their touchdown. That's caught at the one. Josh Reynolds as the first half is winding down. And the Lions will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes this a nine-point game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Just 11 seconds to go in the half as they have it first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes eluding the pressure right. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. 
It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone. Wow, a big mistake there. Late interception in this first half, and that could lead to a field goal try the other way. Yeah, I think at this point, you just had to say, let's take a knee and go in at the half and regroup. Let's just talk it over a little bit. I wonder, partner, was the analytics coach in his head a little bit? Maybe go ahead and press it and try and get some points. While the old school coach probably would have said, take the knee, let's get out of here. Now we could see points the other way here. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals pass. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone. And the Lions will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 45. After the interception, here's Goff. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Now Goff on first down. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. On second down, Swift. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Now a first down throw, gone. Right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. And they're working inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. They'll run on first down. Swift and strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Second and five now. Goff flush to his right. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. From the gun, here's Swift. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. DeAndre Swift, his second touchdown of the night. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that will make this a 19-point game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. On play action, it's Mahomes. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. They go play fake, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. 
This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. Now Mahomes dancing to his left. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 15. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. Partner is bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Three yards the game there, second down. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Open man is Raymond. He's got it. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Khalif Raymond. 25 yards for the touchdown. And thanks to the interception, the Lions offense cashes in with six. Patterson now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because there's confidence. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. They'll look to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. If they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're gonna run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame him? On first down, gone. He'll get this off to Swift. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. 
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Golf. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Second and 10. A play fake for Swift. Now Goff. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And this one, he incomplete. Oh, he couldn't hang on to it in the end zone, and that's one that'll haunt you. And now it brings up third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. To throw is gone. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because it nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Patterson's kick is good. And that lead will move from 20 up now to 23. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. He's going to let it fly. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Flushed out right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off at the 39. Now he exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a...